Today's show is going to be all about the chicken bomb and why this needs to be on your big game menu. It is going to have all the favorites in there. We are talking chicken. How about some jalapeno stuff with some cream cheese, some cheddar cheese in your favorite rub? You are going to wrap all that in bacon and then smoke it at 300. But before we get going, and a special shout out has to go to Wild Fork Foods for sponsoring this video. If you've not shopped at Wild Fork Foods, you definitely gotta look them up. They are online and also have 30 some odd brick and mortar locations. So there may be a location near you. I will leave information down in the description. You plug in your zip code and see if there's a Wild Fork location near you. And also a special shout out, gotta go to my buddy Heath Ryle as I was researching out this recipe, I did come upon his video and watch it. So a big thanks goes there. And to get started on this video, we do have a little bit of prep work to get through and it is going to start with that chicken. I've got breasts and I've also got some thighs. And no matter where you buy the uh, uh, thighs, there is always going to be a little bit of skin on there, even if you get them skinless or boneless. So you do want to clean them up a little bit. You do not want too much skin in on this recipe. So once you get those thighs cleaned up, we will turn our attention to the breast and that is pretty simple. Basically, you do not want that thick plump breast you want to cut them down and split them in two and to do that is very simple just get your hand place it on the breast use a sharp knife and just kind of work it right down the breast take your time and once you get that split in two it is time to pound them out a little bit grab yourself a piece of ceram wrap or plastic wrap get it on top of the chicken and just start lightly pounding it you've only got to pound it one side be careful that you don't smush or split the uh split the chicken you don't want to rip it apart just do a light pounding one side and once you get all that chicken breast pounded out it is time to move on to that next step that next step is going to be in our mixture grab yourself about 12 ounces of softened cream cheese that is going to be enough to do you about six to eight of these suckers Get that in a bowl, as you can see. Grab your favorite rub. I am gonna go with an Uncle Steve shake. This is a dessert shake. This is gonna give me some sweetness, which is gonna go perfect with these jalapenos and also the chicken. I will have information on this Uncle Steve shake down in the description. Obviously, use your favorite rub. Once you get that incorporated, grab yourself some cheddar cheese and just pour it in. Incorporate all that goodness together. Put it on the side. Now go get your jalapenos. And basically what you want to do here is grab yourself a spoon. You are going to split these right down the center, carefully taking your spoon and just cleaning out the guts of the jalapeno. The more seeds, the more guts in there, the more spicy it is going to be. So use your best judgment there. Do that to all the jalapenos. And once you get all those cleaned out, it is time to move on to the next step. So we are certainly moving along here on this prep work. Now go get your mixture. You've got your jalapenos. It is time to put that mixture inside. And basically to do this is simple. You could use your hand. You could use a spoon either or. Just try not to muck the outside of the jalapenos too much. Basically load it up. If you think you've got too much in there, put a little bit more in there. Why the hell not? Once you got the stuffing on one side of the jalapenos, grab the other jalapenos and smush it together. Now little pro advice here use the same jalapenos the same two sides of the jalapenos don't use one that's curved like that and use one that's straight like that that won't go together too good so make sure you keep the jalapenos together once you get all those jalapenos stuff it is time to go grab your chicken get your chicken because now we got to put the jalapenos inside the chicken and basically to do that is simple just put it on and just roll them up now on the thighs I am going to use two pieces of thigh per jalapeno and again just take your time roll them up try to cover it all try to try to surround the jalapeno with as much chicken as you can you're going to do that to all the jalapenos all the chickens that you got and from there what you want to do is go get your bacon i am using a thin sliced bacon that definitely works best you want to stretch it out as much as possible without tearing it and basically you're going to start the long ways and cover the chicken and then go the short width as you see on the screen i use three pieces of bacon per chicken 
So you want to take your time here and cover that chicken with the bacon as best as possible. The better the coverage with the bacon, the less leakage that you'll have with the sour cream. Just repeat the process over and over till you got all the chickens wrapped up. And once you got all that done, it is time to get outside and fire up that grill. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Grab that rub and sprinkle a little bit on that bacon. After that, let's get on over to the pit and fire it up. All right, guys, so look, I am gonna use my Halo 1600 pellet grill. We will load that down with Manchester pellets. And like I always tell you, I don't use electricity on this grill. That is gonna be battery operated up to 15 hours. So we will get that all fired up. I will set that temperature at 300. You can go anywhere between 300 and three and a quarter. Once we reach temp, I will grab my chicken bombs. As you can see, I got those set air on a rack. That is gonna allow me to maneuver in the pit if need be. And basically what we will do here is we will just let these run for an hour with no peaks. At that point, I will bring you guys back. So we are a solid hour into this cook. I will get my chef's temp because we got to get a reading. Now a little bit of word of warning here. Don't go too far in because you'll be reading the temp of the cream cheese. That is no good. I will take my chef's temp and just kind of work it in the side or just work it around the tip. As you can see, we are 165. That is perfect. I will turn my pit up to 300 and a quarter, 350. I will grab my favorite BBQ sauce. That is going to be an Uncle Steve shake the sauce with no name information down below grab your favorite sauce and we will basically just baste them pour it on you are going to do this one time so make sure you get enough on once you get it all covered all on shut that hood and we will let it go for just about another 10 minutes or so at that point i will bring you back we will get them off get them down to the shack do that taste test and close out the show so that was a quick 10 minutes gone by. The color looks perfect. The bacon looks perfect. We've got just a little bit of leakage, so that is also perfect. Let's get these on a tray. Let's get them down to the shack. Quick rest, and I will bring you guys back. Alrighty guys, look, overall that was a uh, pretty fun cook. A little bit of prep work, but really not that bad in the... Uh, in the prep department and i gotta tell you man these definitely look absolutely incredible what i want to do is i want to turn that one camera down here i want to get a uh, slice open in the middle then we'll do that taste test and close out the show All righty, guys, and uh, like I said, man, these uh, these definitely look incredible, man. Perfectly cooked. You can see that chicken still has some uh, still has some juice on it. Let's go in with a uh, taste test, maybe a couple taste tests. Wow! So, guys, that was the um, that was the breast, and I know a lot of people use that thigh meat, but I got to tell you, man, that breast is cooked absolutely perfect, man. It is nice and juicy, and I do believe I got a little bit of thigh here. I'm telling you, man. All right, guys, look, I am telling you right off the bat, man, this is a 10 out of 10, man. You put this on your Super Bowl your Super Bowl table for your guests and they will be flipping out. There is no doubt about it. You will not be able to keep them away from your house. That rub I used, that Uncle Steve shake, gives it a little bit of sweetness. I can taste it. You've got that cheddar. You've got a little bit of spice with that jalapeno. And of course, the sauce with no name. Pick your favorite sauce. All this matches perfectly. And I will have information on all this jazz down in the, uh, in the description also. I gotta thank Wild Fork for allowing me to cook for them. I am working diligently for a uh, for a code for you guys so you can, uh, if you've not tried out Wild Fork, I am telling you, they are the premier online food distributor around the country and even in Canada. And they do have 30 brick and mortar, so you definitely wanna check around in your neighborhood to see if there is one close to you. I mean, everything I've gotten from Wild Fork, from briskets to porks to chickens to seafood, 
just totally, it's all been a 10 out of 10. It is good stuff, there is no doubt about it. Again, coupon code for you guys, we shall see. Other than that, this is a must make. I will have it all broken down for you. My name is Tommy, I appreciate you all for watching. And until next time, we will see you soon.